could just all get off up here and we would have done a really big day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll just go wherever Testo goes. <laughs> Alright, so I just got dropped back off at Stempa, Stempa, no, Sam's Gap Road, whatever it's called. Um, going to try to make it as close to the lower water gap as I can. Uh, okay, um, I just don't know if I'll be able to make it all the way there, but it's supposed to get a little bit easier in terms of rocks. But I'm not going to put my hopes up that high, but it's about... 9 30 10 a.m we had a couple delays in the morning but i'm back in the woods and it's beautiful out aka the sun is not out it's cloudy it's pretty cool so that is a all those are pluses for me pretty good view wasn't expecting anything on a day like today Oof. Rocky though. All right, afternoon check-in. I'm going over like this kind of hilly area, a roller coaster, and I just fell. Um, and my knee hurts. I mean, it's fine, but I'm just sitting, and I started getting. What I think is hungry, but someone else was saying that I may not be drinking enough water. But I'm in freaking Pennsylvania, and there's never water anywhere, and just. Oh, I'm irritated that I fell and that it's hot and humid and these rocks were slowing down my progress so much and oh, I'm just I'm ready to get this trail done at this point, <laughs> at least uh, this part of the trail. Uh, I just want to be in Maine <laughs> or Vermont, any, any one of those, get through New Hampshire, New England, but I'm going to go eat something. All right, so it's about, I think 7.30, 8, 8 o'clock, maybe a little bit later, but um, I'm nearby camp. I hung my line, about to go hang my food, and only did 14 miles today because I am pathetic. Uh, it was just, I guess, kind of ideal because I'm near water. Uh, I could have gone another couple miles because there might be water at the shelter, but some of the comments were like i don't know where this water is and um yeah so i was on the phone with a friend and that's about it we saw a porcupine so we're definitely hanging food i always look for a branch anyways but um i was able to find one which is good but i'm getting eaten by alive by mosquitoes so i'm going to call it a night but it was just super rocky and i'll wake up early and get into delaware water gap tomorrow morning afternoon just spend a couple hours there and hike out um do as much as i can to make up for the past two days but good night good morning uh so slept pretty well last night food was safe in a tree and i am blue blazing this morning Instead of going wolf rock, going over wolf rocks because it's said to be pretty dangerous when slippery. And boy, did it pour last night. So, I'm not risking that. And I'm hoping if I take the lower route, it'll be a little less rocky uh, throughout the day. 7.30, woke up around 5.30 and got started rolling at... 5:40 ish and ate dinner and did all the all the normal morning chores. It always surprises me at how how long it takes, at least for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so far the blue blaze is looking good. That's where I saw a porcupine last night. But that's all I've got so far. Um, nice and cool out this morning too, but the mosquitoes are still biting because they're SOBs, but I will show you the trail.
So one thing, one fun thing I've been doing while I'm hiking and staring at the ground forever is counting all the little bright orange salamanders. Yesterday I counted like at least 22 and so far I'm at I think three today uh, and I've gone less than a mile. <laughs> so that's a fun thing you can do while you're doing nothing. Here to report that that blue blaze was the nicest trail I've ever walked on. All honesty. <laughs> uh, this portion of AT is really nice. It's just flat, really smooth, pretty wide trail. We are near a parking lot though, and that's usually how it goes, especially if it's near a viewpoint. So yeah, I'll show you it. <laughs> So I've been climbing up Kitta Tinny Mountain. Oh, there's a nice place to camp. It's a pretty decent view. Not too bad. It's also the Delaware Delaware Water River Valley down there. All right, so I catch up to Catfish and Mismatch, and he's on the phone with Fallout, and Fallout has gotten us a ride on the Delaware River, water river, whatever it's called, but I'm excited now. Here you go, I can swim in that. towards downtown Delaware Water Gap. Ice cream too. Oh, that would be great. Everybody's like, oh shit. Walking like 1.5, not tubing. <laughs> <laughs> 